Hey guys, Katie Louise here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a magical day. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. I got my Tokyo Kawaii Club for this month. It's June or April, so I don't know at this point. I'll check. Um, yeah, and if you notice, there are two changes behind me. I was going to give out points if people could guess what it was, but I'm just going to tell you, poster is different, it's Aladdin, their heads are cut off because of the angle, and yeah. And then I changed one of the music books on the music stand, Finding Neverland. I'm going to do a video about that, uh, just not today because I'm not feeling well, so. Da -da -da -da. Okay, somebody saw my, my wish list because, <laughs> I love this, I might frame this bag, this is awesome! Oh, um, they're fitting with behind me because you might hear my pop figures on my desk falling. Sorry about that. Eh, that was Thomas Sharp for the peak. <laughs> this is such like an appropriate bag. This is who fell, by the way. Thomas Sharp, Crimson Peak. Anyone ever see it? No one because it flopped. But <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Yes. All right. Let's just. There's a bag in a bag. More than one bag in a bag. Yeah, it's bag and bag. I'm keeping this. I want to like frame this side or I, want, I don't know. Cut it in half, frame both sides. I don't know. Keeping that forever. Let's do this one. This is the Tokyo Disney Resort bag, which I saw the big one of when I was in Florida. Let's look inside. What's in here? He's like shiny. You can tell. I, and he's winking, <laughs> look at that, with the lucky feather. I, those of you who don't, are new to my channel or don't know, I love Timothy Mouse from Dumbo. Of all the characters in Dumbo, I like this little guy the best. My mom actually, we went to the Disney store yesterday, and she bought herself a little Dumbo, which is really funny, because then I get little Timothy. I love him. I just think he's so cute and motivational. So, yay! Then there's, I do love Mickey, Mickey and Minnie. I Gonna bet this is chocolate. I don't know. I don't read Japanese. There's all sorts of Japanese on the back, but let's just see if I can open it. By the way, I know I watched the Tonys yesterday because I have way for me. I'm coming. Hades Town. I, that's in my head. But my favorite performance of the night was Beetlejuice. This is, of course, the day I trimmed my nails so they're not long anymore. I am angry little person right now. All right, I got one side, that's enough. They are little candies. Don't know what they are. My mom will be the guinea pig. I always do that to her. Sorry, mom. Uh, then I got, ooh, cute little Rapunzel notepad, and it says, haven't any of you ever had a dream? Okay, can you see it? I hate having my desk in front of a window. I need to move it. There we go. Hey, it's got a little like plastic protector on the front. Yeah, there we go. And it's sparkly. It just says Rapunzel on the back, so you can. Yeah, I don't know. I need to move it away from the window. Oh, and the pages are like different. That's kind of cool. So like the front half of the book is like this, like the front. You can see it. I use my Mac camera, and then the back has lines, but it's sideways. It's really cool. I always need a little notebook because I'm a writer and I always have great ideas. Last thing in this bag. Oh, besides last thing in this bag, there's a note from Michael. Thank you again, Michael. Cutest little stationery every time I have to show how cute it is. And it's like the same kind of notepad I got the Rapunzel one of. So that's cool. Then I got, it says, the one and only, the fabulous Disney Dumbo. And I think it's a little folder from Disney Store Japan. Oh, it's, it's not a Plasco. It's just... Yeah. Oh, it's got a little Velcro. That's cute. Okay. So this is a little pouch you can put stuff in. And it just says Dumbo. You open it up. You can put something inside. Whatever you want. And the back has food. Don't look at cute. Oh, my goodness. So that's, like, perfect and adorable. Let me put everything back in the bag. Because, again, I show my mom. I unbox. That was one of my earrings, actually. Um, I unbox for y'all. And then I show my mom. So... What is in this one? This bag is the Chippendale bag that comes every month. It's a water bottle. Let's see, I light my own way. Barefoot glamour. <laughs> it is just a water bottle with the tower and Rapunzel 
and just gems and it looks like a diamond on the top. I do use the water bottle, the little water bottles I get from Tokyo Kawaii Club at night actually for just some water. So and then there's one last thing. It is this secret strap. And I think it's a blind bag. So you can either get, they're all themed for candies and chocolates. So you can get any of those. So it's like Chipper Dale. I'm going to guess that's a Bee and the Beast one because it's a rose. Minnie, Mickey, and then it's Mike Wazowski, Alien, Baymax, Lotso. Um, I'm hoping to get Mickey or Belle on that side or the Alien or Baymax. If I get Mike Wazowski, it's going to my mom because she loves Monsters, Inc. I'm not a fan. Um... More seals. Yeah, I'm just going to rip it slightly. Make my life a little easier. Eh, books! I dried. Let's see what we got. And it's in a little foil pouch, which is just sealed over. So you can just... And then I got the Chippendale one. But it's still cute. It looks like a little, like, nut chocolate. Look at it. It looks like it's in, like, a little wrapper. And the back says, copyright Disney. That's really cute. I don't think my phone has a strap for these, but I can always like put them on a push pin and put them like, I don't know, I have a dry erase board, dry erase memo board with um, like cork strips on the top and bottom. So, um, so yeah, that's it for me. I'm not feeling too, too hot today. So uh, I was going to make a second video today and talk about, wait, I can't point. There we go. Finding Neverland because the tour, I didn't break anything. We're good. The tour came to town. The tour left a week ago yesterday because today is Monday the 10th. It was here May 31st to June 2nd. Um, it was amazing. I'm going to do a video and talk about it very, very soon. But today is not that day because I am not feeling well today at all. So I'm going to go take a rest. Maybe watch some more Tony Ward stuff. Um, seriously, I want to start singing on my channel. I'm probably going to sing All That Matters from Finding Neverland unless I get some requests. If you have requests of songs you'd like to hear me sing, down below. Uh, if you want to hear what my voice sounds like, there are older videos on this channel. Don't go too far back. There are some really old ones that my voice does not even sound like that anymore. Because I've had this channel a long time. Um, but you can hear me singing at my voice recital last year. You can hear me singing with a little bit of a cold or something going on. In, back in February, I was in a cabaret. Um, yeah. Uh, next up, theatrically for me, actually, is a directing job. I'm like... Very picking, picky, pick and choose what I direct anymore. I am not, I don't think I'm a good director at all. I am the niece of a great director. My uncle used to direct shows. And I had the privilege of being in two full-fledged musicals under him. Unofficially in a couple. And I did some Easter liturgical music concerts with him too and he was he was amazing he was a wonderful director he taught me how to be independent because he I would watch him give direction to everyone else and that's how I'd learn because when it came to me he didn't want people thinking I had a I got extra treatment and like nepotism and all that so he didn't give me any direction so I just kind of had to figure out things on my own which to this day is kind of what I do a lot of directors are, have to go no 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 it's okay you can ask me questions I will help you and I'm like I was trained to do it all myself, like not worry. So I'm actually the one directors don't worry about. But now I am directing again. I swore the last show um, I directed, assistant directed back in November, Starlight Express was going to be the last. However, a show I really love has come up for assistant directing and uh, the director actually talked to me about it in December. And then I went to her and said, do you still want me for this? And she's like, oh my god, yes. I haven't, like, we haven't done anything. I think we start next week or the week after. But, yeah, I'm going to be assistant director on a kids' camp production of Matilda. It is a full, a kids' and teen camp, so it's actually a full-fledged production of Matilda. And fingers crossed, I'm putting it on camera, that the director remembers she promised me I could come out and dance in Revolting Children, which is like, I want to be a true maggot. So, if you know Matilda, that's what it is. Um, 
yeah. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Hope you guys saw the Tonys and enjoyed it because that's a little glimpse of Broad what Broadway has to offer. I had my ballot and I did not do well <laughs> this year at all. I think I got two. I picked like two of them. Um, yeah. Uh, but my favorite performance of the night was Beetlejuice, hands down. And I think my soul broke into a million pieces with Reeve Carney singing Wait For Me. So, um, I have met Reeve Carney a couple years back and he, everything even Noe Blazada says about him on Show People is true. I didn't meet him at a stage show or anything. I actually went up to him at a restaurant. So, at Alice's Teacup, one of the locations in New York City. Um, and he was dating at the time Ashley Green from the Twilight movies. And I was like, wait a minute, I know who both of you are. And it was my birthday, so they were, like, were really nice to me. Um, and I got a picture with both of them, so... Yeah, um, but I did meet Reeve, and Reeve was the one I recognized first, and then I was like, oh my god, wait a minute, you're in Twilight, I'm a Twilight fan. Um, but yeah, uh, just to really quick about Finding Neverland, because I can't stop thinking about it for more than five minutes, I loved it so much, so much so, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. <laughs> That's a picture of the National Tour cast doing um, What You Mean to Me. I loved it. By the way, I have a rose gold iPad because I'm basic. But I loved it beyond words so much that I went on uh, May 31st and then I went again on June 2nd at their final performance in the town closest to me because my town does not get touring shows so I have to travel. And then actually on Saturday, this last, so not this past weekend, the weekend before, so the 31st and May 31st and June 2nd, I saw Finding Neverland, and then this Saturday, June 15th, I'm seeing this again. I am so excited to see The Lightning Thief again. My mom's birthday is Friday the 14th. Happy early birthday, mom. Um, and she decided, she knew I wanted to see Lightning Thief again, and she likes the show, Obviously she does because she's seen it with me twice so far. Uh, once in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and once in um, New York City at the Beacon at their opening night. Um, she obviously likes it enough to want to go see it for a third time. Uh, this is very reminiscent of the year, uh, the two years. I, we went and saw Anastasia on June 19th three years ago, but it was like June 19th. We decided to go see it in Hartford. I think it was the day before it closed. And then the next year it was on Broadway. My mom's like, do you want to go see Anastasia for my birthday? So like she gets the fun stuff. I'm going to call her out and now she gets the fun stuff. And, um, my birthdays always are sucky because my birthday's in October. It's October 5th. Most, one of the most common birthdays ever. But, like, nothing good happens around my birthday that we can go see and we can't go see shows. And Finding Neverland, the tour is ending this month. I have a rant I need to talk about in my, uh, my video about that. And uh, Lightning Thief is ending at the end of the summer. So, like, I'm not going to have a Broadway show I want to go see because um, I'm going to, I want to see Beetlejuice soon and you cannot get tickets for, like, a year to Hades Town. So I'm not going to want to go to New York for my birthday. And we always just wait and have a bigger celebration in Disney World. I wear the birthday button. We do all that. Um, but my actual birthday always sucks. Last year I got, I brought cupcakes and had a little birthday party, which, you know, I haven't had a birthday party since I was, like, in school and you had to invite everyone so everyone came. Um, that was, like, the last time I had an actual birthday party, but I had a, a mini makeshift one at, uh, rehearsal for Lizzie Borden last year because I brought cupcakes with little ghosts because I played the Irish maid who was called the Banshee. Yes, I'm very sad about that not coming off Broadway. It deserves to be seen. Um, yeah. Uh, look forward to my Finding Neverland video because, boy, oh boy, I got some things to talk about. I'm obsessed. And you guys can see it's 7, it's 7.06 when I'm filming this. Also, like, I don't know. This show is just amazing. Um, I'm also going to do a video talking about my favorite Tony Award performances of the years because I think that's something really cool. And also I'm going to talk about, I can't show clips of anything because I don't know how to edit on my Mac still, but I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to um, do a list of my favorites and then the ones that are special because of various factors. Um, I know I'm definitely going to talk about Spring Awakening, the original 
not the revival. I have nothing against the Deaf West production. The original is special to me, though, because I that was like the first show besides Wicked I ever really got into. And that was the year Grey Gardens was nominated up against Spring Awakening for everything. And Spring Awakening took every award and my uncle was in the other room watching it. And I just was basically running around going, in your face, I'm, I'm winning. I'm winning the Tony pool. Yeah, I had a fun childhood when it came to Tony season. Um, but it also, you know, just, just a sneak peek. I, I love the musical Finding Neverland. Obviously, I love their Tony performance. Um, I do have to say, though, Matthew Morrison as J.M. Barry, I think he's hot. I didn't think he was hot. I don't think he's hot not playing that character. It's so weird because I didn't think he was cute at all. And then something happens during the performance and I'm like, oh, Oh, now, now I get it. Um, but then my all-time favorite type prompt, I think, after I rewatch them, I will know for sure, I think it's Grand Hotel, but Grand Hotel is my favorite musical of all time, so that's cheating. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have that up soon as I watch and take notes. I'll do a video talking about the actual Tony Awards, because I watched and took some notes, just little things about the performances. Um, and I'm finding a Neverland video coming. I'm going to go lay down. I'm kind of delirious. Sorry about the rant. All right. I'm going. Bye, guys. Have a magical day. Love you all.